Yo, what's going on YouTube today? We are playing Fenrir and we're doing the waterfall build. This is attempt two because I got owned in the first attempt. Um, Let's see. Oh God. Um, I mean, I guess I could go cudgel, but like none of these are really late game items and the way you do waterfall build, you kind of need late game items. I guess we just go like, oh, you know what? Jotuns would go hard. Yes. Ten power. Rans also has seven power, I think. He has seven power. Can we just go pots here. Um, gonna go beads. Um, I'm gonna not get my three just so I can clear a little bit faster. That's fine. Oh god, my clear stinks. My clear stinks, dude. How fast is he gonna clear? <clears throat> Wait, he actually cleared slower than I did. That's kind of criminal. Perfect. Just said the pre beads is stunned. Just had the pre beads is stunned. Um. All right, let's go. I guess serrated. Very nice. Then I'll go this. So the waterfall build that we're doing today is basically six tier one items into six tier two items into six tier three items. So you don't get any power spikes basically until the 15 minute mark when you start getting tier threes. And uh, trust me, you feel it. All right, you don't have beads, so this is a mistake. Right, he was dead there regardless of why I hit him. So you just you ultimate the tower and you run away. Ultimate under tower and you run away. Um. I really think so right now the build is it's Jotun's Heart Seeker Serrated. Itch of all is OP. Um, I do not let him hit me with the one. Or I'm fine with it as long as he throws the two at me. The reason that I need him to throw his two is because, I mean, obviously I don't win the fight if I get stunned out of my three because I'm maxing it. Use your two. I, I might be able to kill. I'm not exactly sure on the damage numbers of Fenrir. I don't really play him that much, but I feel like my three does that about 150. So this should be like 600 overall. He'd be healing though. He'd be healing though. Right, let's go back. Um, I don't really like any of these items, to be honest, that I have to build into. I like yes. that one. I'd approve. I guess I'll go. I could just go. I could go Pridwin. Pridwin's pretty good. Your middle tower is under attack. Pridwin is not bad. Yon's Pridwin. I guess at the very least it's max cooldown and a little bit of defense. But if I'm honest, Pridwin will probably be the last item I upgrade. A 
a buff. Enchanted stone. What the fuck does enchanted stone build into? I actually don't even know. Let's go itch of all lost item. Enchanted. You want arc druid? You want stone of binding? I feel like that's not a good item in duel at all. At least not in duel. Alright, now we get your ult. And I just chase you down. Because I can. Oh, that med was clutch. That med was clutch, man. Good med. Can't be mad at that. I unfortunately don't have the mana to jump and use my three. So I don't think I can kill him. Um, let's go Yotans and then the Heartseeker, I guess. Heartseeker is one of the most expensive tier twos, but it does give you extra damage. extra damage on your abilities it's not the worst it's just like a thousand gold for a tier two seems extreme i don't care really about it that much i tend like if i'm going hard seeker i tend to kind of skip over the tier two and just grind until i need tier three or until i can get tier three I also have no idea where the treasure chests are. Well, I know where they are. They're they're right there, but uh serrated. Yeah. Hmm. I mean I he still doesn't have oh, he thought I was gonna alter. I'm gonna go over the wall? What is this? What is this? Okay, wow, he actually I guess I guess he is double defense, right? I should have probably like paid attention to that. Oh, he's dead. He just used his stun. If all he has to do to not get owned realistically is just not throw a stun out there. If he doesn't throw his stun out, then I can never three him, and I'm maxing my three. Um, I could actually just go Kins. But Aussie's kind of OP. I'm just going to go Aussie. Very nice. I'm just going to go Aussie. Oh, I can get this tier two. No, I can't. I get the bad tier two, the oboe, but I want the, the itch of all one. Waterfall build is all tier one items, filling your slots, and then you upgrade the tier two, and then once you're all upgraded to tier two, you can go to tier three. The last item is Ichabal. At least it, it wants to be Ichabal. I don't know if it will get there. I walked straight into that. Impressive. Ouch. So the only bad thing about this for him is that he really is having a hard time doing damage because he's so tanky. Like he went tank, tank, tank. And yes, this one does have a little bit of power, and this one lowers my protection, so it's like... I, I guess it could kind of, somewhat, maybe be thought of as a form of damage. Because lowering defenses and then this one has power, but like... 
If he just if he just got any damage, I think I'd get owned. Yes. Right, let's go Pridwin. Now I have all tier twos. I can start going with the, some tier threes. What do I want to do for my tier threes first though? I'm thinking we go Jotuns because cooldown is massively important. Then we go Serrated because obviously I need Pen. And then we go Austin. What do we think? Maybe decent. Pitch of all can be last. Heard one to finish off cooldown maybe isn't bad. Um. Man, I do take a lot of damage. Yet I also deal damage. Actually, he kind of won that trade. Not kind of. He won that trade like twice as hard. <laughs> it's okay, though. Because I'm about to hit a power spike, buddy. You better be careful. I don't know why he's standing there. I could try to win this game all tier 2 items, but... I feel like everything on Fenrir, in terms of like like only tier two items or something it's not that good because i've literally done i've literally done zero item vendor before to be fair though that was that was an insane game when i got the zero item fenrir is it all better late game? I keep buying it early. No, it's very much better early. The problem is there's not that many tier one items <laughs> in the game. So I don't really have a lot of options for items I want to build. There's a lot of the items that I want build off the same path. Like I want stone cutting, but I can only get one tier one item from this branch of items, you know, because of the waterfall build restriction. So like, I just, I just got it because I could realistically. Okay. He's just dead. Sorry, buddy. You can live. He's trying to make me kill him. Um... I wonder why, why he's like giving up. I guess he is very far down, huh? I didn't even realize how far down he was. Maybe I should just put him out of his misery. Start pushing. All right, now you surrender. You don't surrender? Okay. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, the Stone of Binding pickup was a bit weird. Alright, let's go. I mean, I think Aussie is better here. And then I could just go Heartseeker. He's kind of tanky, right? So, like, Heartseeker does just clear. He just stopped playing oh no he did he was waiting for serrated i mean honestly serrated gives him so much damage he could maybe kill me if he plays it well i mean he has to not hit my minions like he's doing i don't even know yeah he only autoed me three times out of like the eight autos he threw his minions own
I just realized with this waterfall build, I can't even get a glyph until I'm done with all my three, my tier three items. Because technically glyphs are tier fours. All right. How much do I need to finish this? Like 1850? That was a crazy stun. I didn't even know you could do that. Dude, look at this awesome. Look at this Aussie. This item is so OP. It's actually so OP. Alright, we upgrade. Please upgrade. Then we upgrade. Perfect. Oh. Almost died. Oh, hello. A hundred HP per heal or per auto. All right, GG. Waterfall build, Fenrir. Not bad. No, he doesn't have anti heal. I don't know what his build is. His build is just bad. Like, there's no, there's no if ands or buts about it. His build is just bad, unfortunately. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.